New COVID workplace rules recently went into effect, and that impacts business owners and employees. So what are those rules and what happens if they're not followed? I spoke today with Cal OSHA area manager Dan Liner. Dan, first off, can you explain what employers are responsible for when it comes to making COVID testing available? What is the return to work criteria and test administration rules? I know there's a lot happening right now. You're correct. Um, Cal OSHA is responsible for making sure employers provide a safe and helpful work environment to protect workers from injuries and illnesses, including COVID-19. The Cal OSHA regulation does not have a requirement for routine testing for COVID-19. However, if there is a COVID case in the workplace or an employee has experienced symptoms of COVID-19, the employer will need to have those workers tested. And if a, that worker comes back positive, they will need to have coworkers tested that um, had contact with the COVID-19 case. As far as returning to work, um, Cal OSHA has our regulations that outline return to work criteria. However, the governor has issued an executive order allowing us to use the California Department of Public Health, CDPH, their guidelines to, for uh, return to work. And their return to work criteria is based on whether the exposed person is vaccinated or not and how many days they need to stay away. And typically is five days, and then they would get tested at day five. And if negative, they would be allowed to return to work. However, they would need to wear a face covering uh, uh, up to 10 days after their symptoms started or after their testing dates. Up to 10 um, days. And as far as test administration, uh, administration, uh, the tests need to be done at no cost to the workers. Um, they need to be done on company time. They can be done through a private doctor, through a public testing site. It can now be done using home testing kits. However, a home testing kit would need to be observed by the employer or by a medical professional proctor. So let me ask you, Dan, what happens if employers do not follow the rules and provide things like COVID testing? What can employers do? Well, employers should be following the Cal OSHA requirements. And if an employer is not following these requirements, an employee can do one of two things. They could educate their employer on what's required, let them know about the free Cal OSHA consultation services to let them know where to get some additional information and what's required of them. But if an employer is not complying, an employee has a right to file a complaint with the local enforcement district office. And in the Palm Springs area, that would be our San Bernardino enforcement district office. And their number is area code 909-383-4321. Do these rules apply to all businesses, big and small? Does that matter? Yeah. Yes, um, Cal OSHA regulations apply to all places of employment as soon as there is one employee. So for the COVID-19 regulations apply to all places of employment in California as soon as there is one worker. And are there resources, separate resources available for employers to get the information and do they get tests from anywhere in particular? Um, there are a lot of resources available. Cal OSHA's website has a lot of information. A person, uh, anyone can go, uh, do an internet search to find Cal OSHA's homepage. And when you get to Cal OSHA's homepage on the top right, there's a section with titled emergency response. And that is where you'll find information on COVID-19. And the regulations will be there. We have frequently asked questions on the website. There are fact sheets available. There's sample written programs for, uh, for COVID-19 that are required. We have three webinars coming up in February that employers can participate in to learn the recent changes that went into effect on June 14th and get questions answered. And they could also call Cal OSHA consultation services and speak with one of our consultants and get questions answered by phone or request an on actual on-site consultation.
Anything else, Dan, you'd like to say before we let you go? Uh, as far as te the tests, where you can get the tests, I mentioned they can get the test um, through a private doctor, through a public testing center, or using a home test kit. But the important thing to note is that the testing is at no cost to the worker, and it's done on company time. And if using a home test, it will need to be uh, observed by either the employer or a medical proctor. All right, Dan, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure.